But first, the search is on for the mother who left her baby in a trash bag at Hiram College. That newborn later found dead. Yeah, no one has been charged in the case, but the coroner just ruling the baby's death a homicide. This heartbreaking crime, raising questions like, what could have been done to stop this? One option, the safe haven law. It lets you safely surrender an infant, no questions asked. News 5's Caroline Sweeney live in Hiram tonight. Caroline, where is the nearest safe haven in relation to the Hiram College campus? There are actually two nearby safe haven places and they're in the same building. It's the Hiram Fire Department and the Hiram Police Department. Right now I'm standing on a sidewalk about halfway between that one building and Hiram College campus. You can actually see the edge of campus right over my shoulder. Hiram is a small town. We're less than a quarter mile away from the campus of Hiram College. The fire department and the police department are in the same building, less than a five minute walk from the Hiram College campus. Regardless of the signs on the door, people's communities, fire departments, police departments, EMS departments, we stand ready to help them in their minute or hour of need. These are the closest safe harbors in town to the college campus. Another is this hospital 15 minutes away in Ravenna. For more than 20 years, the Ohio Safe Haven Law has been in place. So that allows for someone to bring a newborn up to 30 days to a fire department, police department, uh, emergency room. And they can do it without any questions. We're not going to call the police to arrest them. We're simply providing care for their newborn. After a newborn baby boy was found dead in a trash can in a bathroom in this dorm on Hiram's campus. It's tragic. Fire Chief Bill Byers thinks more needs to be done to educate people. I think awareness at the campus level, you know, across the country, um, even in high schools, anywhere where there's a population where they might feel at risk. Byers says they haven't had a safe haven drop off, but they have kits and information if someone needs help. We tend as a society, society to pass laws but then they drift into the background. And uh, when it comes to the life of an infant or newborn, that law needs to be publicized and make sure the people who may need it, regardless of their demographics, that they know about that law. He says someone is always available here. The fire department is staffed 24 hours a day. We reached out to Hiram College today. They said students can get questions answered and help from the Student Health Center questions we had about safe haven law education weren't answered. In Hiram, I'm Caroline Sweeney for News 5.